First, you'll need to start by downloading the Qualtrics app from Apple's App Store or from the Google Play Store for Android devices. I already have the Qualtrics app installed on my device, but I'm going to simulate how to search in the App Store for it. Press the App Store icon on your device, locate the search bar, and type in Qualtrics. The app should say Qualtrics Surveys by Qualtrics Labs Incorporated. Depending on which type of device you're using, you should see a Get or Install button. You'll have to download and install the app first. Once the Qualtrics app is installed on your device, open the app. Before you can use the app, you'll need to log in with your username and password that was sent to you. If you just downloaded the app, then you're already connected to the internet. But keep in mind that in the future, in order to download a survey, you need to be connected to the internet. In this example, the only available survey for me to download is the Practice Graduate Sum form. To download a form, you need to tap on it and find the green Download Survey button and tap on that. Now the form is downloaded, now you're ready to use it for supervision. Keep in mind that you do not need to be connected to the internet to use the app once you've downloaded it. Tap the Take Survey button. Fill out all the necessary information. It's recommended that you take the course roster with you so that you have the student's ID number. Otherwise, you will not be able to submit the survey. Continue through the survey to complete all the fields. And I'm just picking random things just to get this filled out. And answer all the necessary questions. Again, clicking the Continue buttons. Once you're done, you have a choice to restart the survey for another entry, or you can press the X in the top right. After you finish the survey, you'll see an additional response in the Pending Responses column. In order to upload this response, make sure you're connected to the Internet and press the blue Upload Responses button. Once the survey has been uploaded, you'll receive a confirmation email. Open that email and find the link to view results. Click here. Once the report loads, in the top right, there is an Adobe icon and click it. You can export this report to a PDF. Follow the prompts and save as necessary. And when it's done, you can open the report and see it as a PDF. Once the document is saved as a PDF, you can email it to the student or you can upload it to the course shell. Thanks for being a university supervisor.